So guys, now that we know that our customer is an anemic domain model, we need to improve it by using some concepts of domain-driven design. So the first thing that we are going to talk about is what is a domain model? Instead of using anemic domain, so let's, let's see what is different in the new perspective. So the other concept is called by rich domain model and some called it by domain model just, just like that. So what is a rich domain model? So instead of leaving all the methods, for example, to create a customer, to delete a customer, to validate a customer or something like that, if before, instead of leaving them to a service or utility class, we are going to bring all this behavior and data into our domain model, okay? So this follows the principle of object-oriented programming. Instead of having just a class which contains getters and setters and leaving all the, the behavior to a service or a utility class, we are, going to, we are going to implement a rich domain model. So we are going to, first thing, we are going to bring all the data and the business logic into our object that represent that functionality, for example, in our customer. So let's take a look here, contract, it's a domain model, it's a rich domain model, because it has methods or behaviors and data. So it's not delegating any behavior, for example, the creation or calcul the calculation of recognitions of a, a contract into a service. So we bring the data and the logic together following the object-oriented programming principles. So this is what some people call by rich domain model, but we are going to call it by domain model. So in order to enforce this concept, we are going to talk also about the domain-driven design, entities, and value objects. So if we take a look here in our customer, we can see that our customer is an entity, but the only thing that makes this customer as entity is its identity. So we have here an ID. So when we apply domain-driven design, this customer, this customer will be identified by its identity rather than its attributes. So it also contains the methods, okay, which express intentions because we are still talking about rich domain models, okay, but now we are talking about entities, which is, let's call it by a subset, a subset, okay. So this is what we need to do, okay. We need to understand that our customer is an entity because we are going to identify it by using its identity, which in our case is ID. So we have our customer is an entity. So what about all these fields? For example, the birth date and email address. When we apply domain driven design, we should understand that, for example, this birth date in order to, uh, to, to create or to, to, to create an email address or birth date, we need to validate, for example, if the customer is, if the user is not, for example, using a future date, which is an invalid birth date, it should be passed, okay? So all these validations for creation, deletions, and also, we need to put it in our domain model. So we are not putting it here in our entity. Instead, we should use, for example, for this particular case, we should use another concept, which is the value objects. So what is a value object? Objects are often used to represent simple entities in our application, such as, for example, monetary amounts, dates, email address for our case, okay? So the first thing that we need to understand is that the value object is immutable, should be immutable, okay? And we cannot persist the value object independently, okay, from our entity. So the other thing that we need to understand about the value object 
is that we compare two different value objects by the value, okay? So for example, if we have two different value objects, let's suppose two customers and names, okay? The name is the value object, so the name is John and the other value object the name is also John. So we are going to say that they are equal. They are equal because they have the same value. So in order to, to implement the value object, we are going to start to refactoring here our email address and all these fields in order to make this concept clear. So let's go guys.